Infertility itself is almost like a loss. Um, there's so much grief there as you go through your cycle and you get your period, there's grief. If you go through an IVF cycle and get a negative, there's grief. And there's also loss of a pregnancy at any stage um, is a loss. And I think sometimes it's, it's hard because we can't mark a miscarriage or a loss or a chemical pregnancy or a loss at a really early stage, but it is a loss. It is a loss to you of a hope and a dream and a due date and those milestones that you were counting on when you saw those two pink lines or knew that you were pregnant finally. So it's really important to actually find ways to mark this loss, to commemorate the life. And there's lots of support out there and help for you to do this. But maybe it's all about finding your own way to mark this loss. So it may be that you find a little space in your home and have a picture frame, um, a candle um, that you light, um, anything like that. Finding like almost like a little sacred space in your home where to house that grief, where you can return to when you need to connect with those feelings. You may also want to mark this with some sort of ceremony like a tree planting or having a bench in your garden or something like that. Another thing that you can do is actually write a letter to your child um, and it'd be a very emotional experience because yourself and your partner can do this as well. Um, and this can actually be incredibly cathartic in um, getting through some of those emotions and, and channeling them through this letter. Some people like to keep their letters, other people like to burn them in a fire or make the letters part of the ceremony, part of the tree planting. So marking and commemorating loss is, is very much part of our society, but we need to bring that into loss during infertility as well. And that can be a really key way to cope. Another way to cope is to find your tribe. Who else is out there who's gone through this? Find the support groups near you, online support groups um, and organisations. There's some wonderful ones out there able to support you. And lastly, being specific with those around you. If you can be really clear with those around you what you need as you go through this, because often when it comes to loss and infertility, people don't know what to say and often, you know, cause more problems by um, fumbling through and saying the wrong things. If you can be specific about what you want people to say, when and what you need, particularly straight after a loss, be very specific about what you need. For example, bring meals round and drop them on my doorstep. Um, can you take this somewhere else? Just be really specific and clear and that can really help um, in those early days over that loss. <laughs>